Hello viewers. Welcome back to our channel. I am Himadri. Today we will discuss about installation of Appium in Windows and their prerequisite. In the last video we covered. What is Appium? Advantages of Appium. Disadvantages of Appium. Types of mobile application. Appium architecture. Here are some of the things we are going to cover in this video. In this video, I am going to discuss about Appium installation. As part of the installation we need to know Appium prerequisite How to install Java How to install Appium desktop in Windows Let's start our today's discussion with Appium prerequisite to successfully run Appium we need JDK. So download and install the JDK. In the next topic I have covered how to install JDK and do the setup. Once JDK is installed, download and install Android Studio for Android or Xcode for iOS. Next we need IDEs like IntelliJ or Eclipse. Install the IDE based on preferences. Now install TestNG plugin from the marketplace and at the end you need to install the Appium in your system. We will see this part later in the video. You will get all the download links in the below description. Now we will see how to install JDK in Windows. First we have to go to java.com slash and slash download link. As you can see in the screen it is giving option to download 64-bit Java for Windows. Now click on Agree and Start Free Download option. It will automatically start download. Once download is completed just open the folder where it has downloaded and click on the .exe file to start the installation. You will get a Java installation setup as you can see in the screen. Click on Install. It will start installation process. Wait for the installation to complete. Click on Finish to complete the setup. And now click on close. Now the Java setup is done. Now we will open command prompt and type Java version and enter. It will show current version installed. Now we will check if the Java path is added in the environment variable or not. To check that just search settings and type path. Choose edit system environment variable and again choose environment variable. You can see path. Click on edit if you want to edit the path. You can click on new and add java underscore home as an environment variable and set the java path without bin as a value. Now we will see how to install Appium in Windows. First you open a browser. And search for Appium Download. Open the link appium.io download. It will open the URL from where we can download the Appium. First I have opened up the Appium Java library. For the installation it is not required but you would need this during writing your first script. We will see this in another video. Now go back and open the link Appium Desktop for OS X. 
Now search for .exe file as you can see in the video. Just click on the .exe file to start downloading the Appium. Click on Downloaded Appium EXE Files. It will start the installation setup. Click on Install. It will start the installation. You can see that installation is in progress. Click on required, but you would need this during writing your first wait for the installation to be completed. It generally takes some time to install. Click on finish. Now click on Appium icon to open the app. App generally takes a little bit time to open up. It has opened up. Now click on Advance. You can see like server address and port right? By default the server port is 0.0.0.0 and port is 4723. You can see the different settings for Android and iOS. We will discuss this part in another video. For the time being let's go back to the simple tab and start the server. You can see the server has started on 0.0.0.0.4723. With this, we have covered all the topics for today. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube trends, Twitter trends, scientific calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.